This has become necessary due to a lack of adequate staffing to manage the site. According to Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, Marina Jessamy, this and other sites launched would be used as best practice. The ministry is taking into consideration service proposals suited for the site. Ms. Jessamy shares some of the components. In Mongazo, you would find from a tourism pros uh, perspective that you have two products in one, a visitor center and beautiful nature trails. With a vista as you cannot describe anywhere else, I believe that we have an opportunity to use the site in an optimal manner. The Grenada Hotel and Tourism Association, the GHDA, has been mandated to get this site on schedule for the upcoming tourism season. Mrs. Jessamy said their main target groups are schools, citizens, returning nationals and tourists in general. An entrance fee will be applied for persons wishing to embark on guided tours, but school children and local groups would be exempted. The trails will be open for field trips for schools and students and company groups. She also gave the assurance of having the continuous input of locals. Members of the community will have a critical role to play, and even in the conversation we have with persons who presented proposals, we like to encourage just as with the building minister and MP for the area, that local labor was used and, will, and, and people from the community will be, con we will continue to engage them in whatever initiative we will undertake. As a means of providing enhanced service, tour guides will be receiving training to ensure accurate dissemination of information. A gazebo and parking area will be erected in the not too distant future. Mrs. Jessamy said the ministry will be in close contact with the service contractor to ensure a policy be put in place to discourage littering at the site. Christina John, GBN News.